Imagine a world without fire, without the wheel, without the internet. Every single day, you interact with dozens of inventions that quite literally built the modern world. But here's the thing. Each of these breakthroughs started with a single moment, a flash of insight that changed everything. Today, we're taking a journey through time to explore the inventions that didn't just improve life. They transformed it completely. Welcome back to the channel. Human history isn't just a timeline of events. It's a timeline of ideas. Ideas that sparked into reality and rippled across centuries. From the discovery of fire to artificial intelligence, these inventions share something profound. They fundamentally altered how we live, work, and understand our place in the universe. Over the next 10 minutes, we'll walk through the most pivotal inventions in human history, exploring not just what they were, but why they mattered so deeply. So settle in, and let's begin at the very beginning. Our story starts roughly 1.5 million years ago, in the darkness of prehistory, with humanity's first great invention, fire. Before fire, our ancestors lived at the mercy of nature. They ate raw food, froze in winter, and hid from predators in the night. But fire changed everything. It gave us warmth, protection, and the ability to cook food, which actually helped our brains grow larger over millennia. Fire was more than a tool. It was the spark that separated us from every other species on Earth. Around those first flames, humans gathered, told stories, and began to form the complex social bonds that would define our species. Fast forward to around 3500 BCE, and we encounter another groundbreaking invention, the wheel. Now, you might think, it's just a circle that rolls. But consider this, no wheel means no carts, no pottery wheels, no water mills. The wheel revolutionized transportation and trade, allowing civilizations to move goods across vast distances. It connected communities, spread ideas, and laid the groundwork for every economy that would follow. Around the same time, in ancient Mesopotamia, humans invented writing. The Sumerians developed cuneiform, pressing wedge-shaped marks into clay tablets. For the first time in history, knowledge could outlive the person who possessed it. Laws could be recorded, stories could be preserved. Writing transformed human consciousness itself. We could now think across generations. And we can't forget the invention of agriculture, which occurred around 10,000 BCE. When humans learned to cultivate crops and domesticate animals, we stopped wandering and started building. Permanent settlements became villages, then cities, then civilizations. Agriculture was the foundation upon which everything else would be constructed. As civilizations flourished, so did innovation. Around 3000 BCE, the ancient Egyptians developed papyrus, an early form of paper made from reeds. This made writing more accessible and portable. Knowledge could travel. The Romans, ever the engineers, gave us concrete around 200 BCE. Their structures still stand today because they perfected a building material that was strong versatile and revolutionary. The Pantheon, the Colosseum, these weren't just buildings. They were statements about what humanity could achieve. But perhaps one of the most crucial inventions of the ancient world was the compass developed in China during the Han Dynasty around 200 BCE. Originally used for divination, it eventually became the tool that would allow humans to navigate the world's oceans. Without the compass, the age of exploration would have been impossible. Jump ahead to 1440, 
and we arrive at an invention that democratized knowledge itself, Johannes Gutenberg's printing press. Before Gutenberg, books were copied by hand, a process so laborious that only the wealthy and powerful had access to written knowledge. But the printing press changed everything. Suddenly, books could be mass-produced. Ideas could spread like wildfire. The printing press didn't just enable the Renaissance. It made it inevitable. It sparked the Reformation, advanced science, and planted the seeds of modern democracy. Information, once locked away, was now available to anyone who could read. This period also saw innovations in navigation and timekeeping. The mechanical clock, refined in the 14th century, allowed societies to organize time in unprecedented ways. Work schedules, train timetables, coordinated action, all became possible because we could measure time precisely. Then came the moment that changed human civilization forever, the Industrial Revolution. In 1712, Thomas Newcomen developed the first practical steam engine, later perfected by James Watt. The steam engine did something extraordinary. It gave us power independent of muscle, wind, or water. Factories could be built anywhere. Machines could do the work of hundreds of people. The world began to industrialize, and with it came rapid urbanization, new social structures, and unprecedented economic growth. The steam engine powered another transformative invention, the locomotive. In 1825, George Stevenson's locomotion number. One became the first steam locomotive to carry passengers on a public railway. Suddenly, distances that once took weeks could be covered in days. Commerce exploded. People could travel to seek opportunities. The world, in a very real sense, began to shrink. In 1876, Alexander Graham Bell patented the telephone and human communication took another quantum leap. For the first time, voices could travel instantly across vast distances. Families separated by geography could stay connected. Businesses could coordinate across cities and continents. The telephone wove the world together in ways that were previously unimaginable. And in 1879, Thomas Edison perfected the electric light bulb. Before electric lighting, the night belonged to darkness. Productivity ended when the sun set. But electric light extended the day, transformed cities into glowing metropolises, and fundamentally altered how humans experience time itself. The 20th century saw innovation accelerate at a dizzying pace. In 1903, the Wright brothers achieved powered flight at Kitty Hawk. Humans, who had dreamed of flying for millennia, finally left the ground. Within decades, commercial aviation would connect every corner of the globe, making international travel accessible to millions. The invention of penicillin by Alexander Fleming in 1928 launched the age of antibiotics. Diseases that had killed millions for centuries could now be cured with a simple course of medicine. Life expectancy soared. The medical revolution had begun. Then came the computer. In the 1940s, machines like ENIAC emerged, room-sized calculators that could perform complex mathematics. But by the 1970s, Pioneers like Steve Jobs and Bill Gates envisioned personal computers, technology that could sit on a desk and empower individuals. The microprocessor, developed in 1971, made this dream possible. Computing power that once filled entire buildings now fit in the palm of your hand. 
and in 1989, Tim Berners-Lee invented the World Wide Web. He created a system where documents could link to each other across a global network of computers. The internet had existed before, but the web made it accessible, visual, and revolutionary. Information became instantaneous. Communication became global. The web connected humanity in ways that would have seemed like magic just a generation earlier. As we entered the 21st century, innovation hasn't slowed. It's accelerated. The smartphone, popularized by the iPhone in 2007, put a supercomputer in everyone's pocket. We carry devices more powerful than the computers that sent humans to the moon. We have access to all of human knowledge with a few taps. We can communicate with anyone, anywhere, instantly. Today, we're witnessing the rise of artificial intelligence, renewable energy technologies, gene editing through CRISPR, and quantum computing. Each of these has the potential to reshape society as profoundly as fire, the wheel, or the printing press. So here we are, at this moment in history, surrounded by the accumulated genius of countless generations. Every invention we've discussed started with someone asking, what if? What if we could harness fire? What if information could travel at the speed of light? What if we could fly? The remarkable thing is that we're not at the end of this story. We're in the middle of it. Right now, someone somewhere is working on the next invention that will change everything. Maybe it's you. The timeline of human invention isn't just about technology. It's about who we are as a species. We're the creatures who look at the impossible and make it real. We're the ones who stand on the shoulders of giants and reach even higher. So the next time you flip a light switch, send a text, or board an airplane, take a moment to appreciate the long chain of human ingenuity that made it possible. Because every invention, no matter how small it seems, is part of the greatest story ever told. The story of human progress. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this journey through time, hit that like button and subscribe for more fascinating explorations of our world. What invention do you think was the most important? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, keep questioning, keep wondering, and keep inventing.